Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn Weekend Energy for April 2nd to April 5th. And for some reason I felt the need to pull one of these um, Angel Whisperer cards. Um, I can't remember the, ex the exact name of it, but I felt the need to pull one of these for an overall energy. All right, so I feel like this one on top is what we need to do for an overall energy and then we're going to do a five card spread and pull some cards and then we will get some tarot for some clarifiers and then close out with an oracle this is a general reading so this may or may not resonate with you also, you have the power to change my life for the better just by liking, subscribing, and watching my video all the way through. Even if you just could put it on in the background, I greatly appreciate that. And thank you so much for any and all of your support. All right, so we have the Queen of Cups. We have the Ten of Swords. We have... Temperance. We have the Two of Wands. And then we have the Chariot. Alright, so my overall was Strength. So I feel like this weekend you just need to be strong, you need to be confident, you need to push through, you need to, like if you're feeling weak, sometimes you feel weak and you feel vulnerable and you feel like you just can't handle things and like there's too much going on and just like I don't know if I can get through this and I feel like this weekend is you just have to be strong and you have to keep pushing through. Um, I kind of feel like this is what the cards are saying too. We've got the Ten of Swords here where, because this represents, you know, what you're feeling now and you're feeling tired, you're exhausted, you know, um, you feel stripped of everything because um, this is, this card is actually Humpty Dumpty, so he's not on the wall anymore and you've got eggshells here, you've got his pants, his shoes, his hands, his clothes, you know, he's feeling kind of beat up, but, you know, they come and they put him back together again. Um, but that's going to take some time and that's going to take some, you know, confidence and some strength. And I feel like you're, you're feeling emotional, like you're feeling emotional, you're feeling tired, you're feeling like you're touchy about, you know, anything that anyone says, like you're feeling touchy about that because you're tired, because you've been through a lot, because you feel like, you know, you almost feel like giving up this weekend. You're like, I just don't know if I can do this anymore. Like I've been through so much. Like when are, when are things going to turn around? When are things going to fall in place? When are things going to start happening? Because I feel like I'm putting so much work and effort into it. And I feel like with the temperance being here, I feel like it's saying that you just have to hang in there. Um, you just... You just have to be patient and things have to balance out and it's just being patient waiting for those things to fall in place whatever it is that you want to have happen like you just have to wait it out even though it's like really hard to wait it wait it out and you feel like oh my gosh I've already waited for like forever and like I still have to wait even longer <laughs> that's how I feel <laughs> And then we have, you know, you should, you know, look towards the future. Like, yes, she's right here, but she's looking out what's coming out ahead of her. You know, those those things that are going to be coming in, they're kind of in the distance, but she can still see them. Like, she can kind of get an idea of, you know, what's, what's headed her way, what she has in front of her, but it's, it's still a, a ways away. And then for the outcome, we have the chariot card. And it's I feel that that's saying about being strong, um, just keep moving forward. Just keep pushing through. Like this weekend, just push through. Just hang in there. Um, and, you know, be strong. And... Believe that everything happens for a reason, and you may not see it right now, but there's some changes headed your way. And so 
sometimes you just need that. You just need that person to say, it's going to be okay. You're kind of feeling a little stuck right now, but this too shall pass. And, and you'll, get, you'll get through this. Yeah, look at this. The wheel. All right, so that brings change. Like you are feeling emotional. You are feeling upset. But, you know, um, there's some change coming in. There's some positive change coming in. Um, it's a change of luck, change of fortune. It's, a, it's saying that good times are on the way. There's a shift in attitude or circumstances, and that that's usually represents something that's positive. You know, that there's some twists and turns in the road, but they're positive twists and turns in the road. Um, it's going to take some work to get through that this weekend, you know, but you, you have to focus on the positive. Look, you have to focus on the Ten of Cups. There's some happy things coming in for you. There's some positive things coming in for you. Even if it's just a little thing, it's like, well, maybe you wanted to go do something this weekend and they were forecasting the weather was going to be bad and it was going to rain, but you know what? It just ends up being cloudy or maybe even the sun comes out. So it's like those little things, like that's what you need to look at because, you know, obviously we all would like to win the lottery, but it's like build on those little things that have happened that, oh, I thought I wasn't going to be able to go for my picnic this weekend, but, you know, it's just going to be cloudy out, but we can still go and we can still do this. So, so it's still going to happen, just not the way that I was thinking of it. You know, um, there's something that you've been wanting that's just being delayed this weekend. So you have to look at those things that are happening, that are positive, that are falling into place. Yes, exactly. Taking those things that are positive and falling into place. You know, she doesn't have 10 pentacles. She has seven. But she's going to be happy with the seven that, you know, she's got in front of her. And she's not going to be, you know, fussing about the three that she doesn't have so that's I feel like it's just like an attitude type of a thing for you this weekend is to just look at those positive things that fall into place and we have for the relationship like maybe there's a new relationship coming in for you maybe it's working on your relationship maybe it's about looking at those little positive things that are in your relationship and not that the bigger you know maybe there are some really big problems but you know I feel like this is for those of you that maybe you're just, you're not feeling it anymore, but it's like, start looking at all those positive things that happened between you and your partner. Nothing can always be, you know, rainbows and unicorns. And I feel like in time, you'll get your fire back. You'll get your passion back. You'll be able to release those burdens, those things that you have on your back, and you're going to be able to charge forward. Um, like these things are coming in for you, but it's just... You know, this weekend it's going to be a little tough. You know, again, we have the Queen of Cups, so I feel like you're feeling emotional. You're feeling sad. You're, you know, a little touchy, you know, if somebody says the wrong thing. But you're going to be able to get past this like this too. Like I said, this too shall pass. Things didn't work out the way that you wanted them to, but it's for a reason because there's something better that's coming in for you. And then we have the chariot about pushing forward, making things happen, having confidence, believing that things, you know, are meant to happen for a reason. And then temperance again. Um, we had temperance here, so you've got temperance twice, which is about being patient. It's about, you know, um, taking your time on something, not rushing anything. So maybe this weekend is just focusing on the positive and just enjoying this weekend and not trying to push anything through this weekend. And I feel like at the beginning of the week, I was kind of feeling that before I flipped this card over, is about starting new, starting fresh, you know, ready to put everything into it on, you know, Monday and pushing through. But maybe it's just this weekend, just letting yourself be emotional, letting yourself, you know, just just be in this place that you are and enjoy the little things and look at the positive things and not focus on the fact that things didn't turn out the way that you wanted but that you know that there's some good things headed your way and there are some changes on on the, on the way um you know and that's what will help you to clear your mind and your energy Being strong, being strong, pushing through. And sometimes you just feel like, you know what, I'm just going to stay in bed or I'm just going to sit on the couch and watch movies all weekend. I'm going to binge watch something. 
<laughs> and maybe that's all it is about this weekend. <laughs> or having a good cry on a, a, you know, one of those romantic movies or whatever, you know. All right, and then we have birth. Universal energy brings you opportunity and possibility. So I feel like that's headed your way because I feel like that relates to the Ace of Wands that that's coming in your way. But this weekend, it's okay to just sit on the couch and binge watch and, you know, have a good cry over a movie because you're feeling tired. And I feel like this is just the weekend for you to rebuild yourself and get ready for the next week for what's coming in and to focus on those positive things in your life. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.